everyone, it's me, Candy, and I just want to say welcome to this new Obvious Life episode, and I just want to say sorry about all the background issues that you're going to hear, they're doing some work right now, and I'm sorry if fate bothers <laughs> Natalie Princeton, wake up. Oh, uh, madam, hello. Um, didn't see you there. We're just about to woke up. Is there anything you need? No, get to work quickly. You're late. I'm late. But I... What time is it? Seven! Oh my god. But it's supposed to work at six. Everyone else is at work right now and you should be working, but no, you're late. Madam, I'm really sorry. You know what? For making it up to me, you have to stay extra late today. And you'll be going home. Or to sleep, not at home. Two o'clock in the morning. What? You have been an hour late. No discussion. Get to work. Are you kidding me? I have to stay up all night. Uh, who is it? Ow. My head. Who is it? The door's open. Come in. Hey, sis. What's up? April? Is that really you? What are you doing here? Look, I know we haven't talked in a while. I know we haven't talked in in a while. Yeah, because you stopped communicating with me, even for a phone. Now tell me, what the hell is going on with you? I know. Look, I I came back here to check up on Mom's grave. And what is that to do with? Anything? Uh, you care about mom who betrayed us several times in life and not me, the actual person who tried to save you. I, I, listen, I don't want to hear your crappy little story. But sis, look, I, I can explain. No, sister. We're done communicating. Once and for all, that's clear. But, sis, I go away. Ow. Sis, I never forget. You deserve to be treated like crap. Go. What am I done? I did the right thing though. I could have finished working anyways. She never cared about me. Nobody did in my family. I guess that James, you know. Hey Allie. Oh, what's up? I'm still finished Glenn, you know. You were pretty late. Yeah, I woke up at 7 instead of 6. But you know, last night I worked very hard and I cleaned almost the basement and I went to 1 a.m. asleep. Oh my god, same. 
And now guess what? I need to stay stay up all night. And then to go to sleep at 2 a.m. and wake up at 6. Did Samantha wake you up? Obviously, because I was late. Now, Jenny, help clean this crap. Yeah. I was skimming through it so I can find something very interesting. For you know, I know why you're here. But don't tell anyone. I won't. And I found this piece of paper right there. That's full of blood. Hmm. Oh, I remember when here's the footage to kill. Um, do you remember Mimi, um, Lily, and the Bee Sisters? The Bee Sisters? You mean like two years ago before I even came here? Yeah. This is their old blood. Ew! I know. I might need this, I don't know. Amber, are you up to it? Listen, as much as I would like to, I can't. I'm working for Samantha. This might be a big deal for her. I don't care. But... Uh, Max, this is, don't call me that. You're going to work for me. No, I'm not. And I won't work for you. Never. Really? Even if I pay you good money, you... Listen, you stupid tiger. I'm not greedy for money like you are, so that's a no. And I would never work for you. I have a good job. I can tell you're lying because you told me all the time that Samantha treats you guys horribly. Yeah, but I got used to it. And you do horrible stuff that I can't say. It just bothers me and grosses me out. Did Samantha tell you to say that? No, you idiot. I came here by myself. So then, if you came here by yourself, you must agree. No, I will not agree to your bullshit. Excuse me? Yeah, right, I said bullshit. Oh, you must pay. No, you must pay, and I'll get you back very clearly. And you know I can, because I'm dangerous. I'm dangerous more than Samantha, because I've been in the asylum for years. I can kill people, and I can kill you. So, watch your mouth. Oh. <laughs> I'm not scared of you. Oh, really? Because you should be. You should be.